Hello, this is Epic M Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to make this sound. Uh, so if I take out the uh, terrible background, let's just listen to the background so you know how terrible it is. Um, this is from the song Lovers on the Sun by David Guetta, uh, David Guetta, or whatever ghost producer it was. Uh, so this is the synth. Uh, it's a very basic synth in its uh, basic form. Not many effects will probably do it. I do have a limiter on the master here. Um, Alright, so let's jump right in. So I'm going to add in a new Zenode sort of effects. Add it in. I'm just going to copy the notes here for simplicity. So, And then I'm going to mute this. There we go. So we are left with the default sign. So the first thing I'm going to do, alright, you hear the sine wave, um, there's not many harmonics coming from it, not any, um, not any high frequency harmonics. So, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna make an LFO, alright, a frequency LFO, and you may know this trick, uh, I've used it in a lot of other videos, where you take an LFO, set it to an extremely high frequency, and then put the depth kinda high, and make it, shoot, I'm editing the wrong synth. Alright, I'm supposed to be editing the synth that I want to make. So, we are going to be taking the LFO, so the depth, or no, not the depth, frequency. Frequency out. And so now you can't hear it because it's, it's a sound wave. Um, we're going to set this, now this is a trick I learned. Sign sounds kind of boring, square. Alright, and if I change the depth, So what that's doing, instead of the sine wave, this kind of like woo 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 woo, you have this kind of switching. So we're just going to yeah, set the frequency way up, keep the depth kind of in check. Sort of there is right. And then we're going to make uh, three, not one, not two, but three pulse. Um, so these are just the default square ones. Change this to the first one, which will make a pulse. Alright, and so the first one is going to be octave negative one. Second, or th the third one's gonna be octave one. The second one's gonna be in the middle octave zero. Yeah. Um, first one is going to be. It's gonna have a unison of size two. Second one also of size two, or no, size three. Size three sounds a little bit better. And then the third one is gonna have a size two unison, but it's going to be set to like five cents. Uh, so that's the frequency spread. Five. Well, close enough. Um, and then the whole thing, the octave is going to be brought up by one, as you may have noticed, this sounds good offset. Alright, and so we're starting to get to where the sound is, but not really. Um, now, usually I add in my effects per part, um, but what I've learned, when you're copying, like, when you're viewing a tutorial for, say, Silent or something, it has part A and part B. Alright, so, Zen itself is, is kind of like that, except it has 16. So, um, this is just useful if you didn't know how to do those, uh, so where you get different oscillators and different effects on them. 
Um, but that means that for the central effects, the, the effects that are in the core, they're going to be insertion effects. Um, so this effect, so if it's going to the master output, is going to be distortion and excited. So I'm going to try to match that, um, but really it's just up to playing with the uh, just playing with the EQ.
it. Um, if you would like to request for me to do any other songs, um, any synths from any other songs, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, that way I'll be able to know that I should do those. And so thank you for watching and 